Hi guys on YouTube land. Again, I'm back with one of the newest characters they made for the Marvel collection. The Black Panther. Oh, that came off. Oh well. <laughs> I was trying to just put it up the top. It's a pretty cool costume, right? Not too bad, but I used to be a dancer, as I said before, and these were the costumes I used to dance in. And this is one of the most recent ones I got because the movie had just come out when I was finishing up my dancing career. So it was one of the ones that was at the top of my boxes, so I could find it pretty quickly. So I figured I'd match my um, Black Panther guy here because I don't have anything else but the costume currently. But Black Panther was a really good movie, I thought. It was a cool little ad addition to the Marvel Universe. I'm glad they did that and then added a new character dynamic to the whole team. And of course, this is what they did with the foot. They put the little um, his uh, figure on there. They did put the A on the other side. And I was wondering why they would not do that this time. Maybe because he wasn't part of the team yet. It's possible. Or just because they, this is a whole new format that they're doing going to the new movies. So this one's a completely encased bear. And the funny thing is, they actually give him two ears. So he has a cat ear to let you know he's a he's the cat. But he still has the bear in behind him. I don't understand how that kind of works. I mean, it covers up his ear. And he's still got the bear ear. So you think the cat ear would be behind it, not in front of it. But that's probably because they wanted you to be able to see the cat ear. In reference to the bear ear. So it's almost like he is wearing a costume, but not. As you remember in the movie, he had that skin that just kind of enveloped him when it was activated. So they kind of went through the skin tight thing. It kind of like it is that whole kind of costume format, different than the other bears. You do see his hands and his feet pop out. So that's pretty much it besides his ears. Pretty decent uh, design. I like the uh, you know little the, the silver inlay and how it makes it look. Again, pretty much nothing in the back. On this particular bear though, they didn't give him any sound. I don't know if this is because they didn't know how he would sound because this came out probably a little bit through the movie. So do you have any catchphrases yet? Because, you know, he's, he's not as big and popular as the other characters were. Black Panther became a uh, much more renowned and uh, character as far as combat goes after the year 2000 when he started getting his own run for a long period of time. Before that, he was just in different runs of different comic books here and there sparsely. He is an Avenger in reserve like a lot of uh, the Avengers these days, but in this particular uh, grouping, he's going to be an Avenger for the next movie, and we're excited. So, I'm, again, I'm excited to see the next bears they do for this movie, but when I saw Black Panther, I had to have him to complete my set. Not too shabby, right? So if you like Black Panther, he is, you can still find him online, I'm pretty certain, but a lot of these ones are selling up pretty quickly, so you got to be, uh, be on top of that, because once they're gone, the only way you're going to find them is on eBay. So... And then tomorrow I'll bring out another bear that they brought out with the new movies. And it seems to be like they really like this character because they keep bringing copies of this one out. So I love it. But we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.